we got Bali Belly. Bali Belly. Traveler's Diarrhea. Rangoon Runs. Deli Belly. These are all names for one sickness that you can get while traveling abroad. Over the last week, we managed to catch the barley belly bug. I have no idea where I got it from. I finally got better after three days uh, and then Sam got it somewhere. Mm. That's how we kind of knew that it wasn't food poisoning because the onset of the illness was staggered. Ryan got sick first, I got sick a few days later. So we weren't sick from food poisoning as such. With my experience with it, it was severe stomach cramps. For the first day, every 10 or 15 minutes, it felt like someone was pulling my stomach out of me. It was not nice. After the second day, it wasn't as bad. And then third and fourth day, it slowly went away. On top of that, I was running to the bathroom every half an hour, quite literally. Um, and on top of that again, I had a headache the whole entire time. So similar to Ryan's symptoms, I was also running to the bathroom what felt like every 15, 20 minutes. Um, I had a really bad fever. We actually ended up going to a pharmacy and getting a thermometer. And I had a 40 degree fever, uh, which is something that Ryan didn't have. But like him, I also had the headache. It was like a five out of 10, nothing dramatic, but always there and Panadol didn't really seem to help with the headache. I also had vomiting. By the time the onset of the vomiting came around, there wasn't anything left in my body to vomit, but um, there was definitely attempts to. Um, but then I think the biggest symptom that I had that Ryan didn't was a complete loss of appetite. Mm. I'm talking I didn't eat for five days, like nothing. Um, I was thirsty. Ryan went and got some coconut water just so that I could stay hydrated. Um, and I was still drinking things, orange juice, stuff like that, um, electrolytes, but a complete loss of appetite. And we're now on, I would be on probably day 10, and I still don't have my appetite back. I am eating now because I know I need to eat. Um, but there is no sense of hunger whatsoever. I could go an entire day without eating and not think anything of it. As for prevention guys, after a lot of research, you can't prevent it from happening. It is normal, a lot of people experience it. I guess you can just be mindful of certain things. If you're eating street food, look at the food. If it seems okay, it's probably okay. If there are other people eating there, it's typically okay. Fully avoiding Bali Belly and traveling abroad and wrapping yourself in this ball of food you're used to and cotton wool to protect yourself from getting Bali Belly, you're going to ruin your experience of traveling abroad. We are typically careful, we wash our hands, we don't drink the tap water, we only eat in places that we feel like the food is being cooked well, cooked in front of us, cooked fresh, or there's lots of people there meaning the turnover of the food is frequent. All this considered, we still got it. We don't know how, where, why, but we got it. However, we didn't sacrifice our experience of being here trying to avoid it. It happened, it was manageable, it's fine. If you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Buy the ticket, take the ride. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so some typical ways that you can treat Bali Bali is mostly just treating the symptoms. So if you have a headache, take some Panadol. If you have a fever, take some ibuprofen. It's gonna help with the headache, but it's also going to help with the fever. If you're dehydrated, electrolytes. Plenty of water. Yeah, normal water, coconut water, vitamin C. Over, I'm, we're really only speaking for Bali at the moment, but the pharmacy that we went into was called um, Guardian Pharmacy and the pharmacists that we spoke to in there were so helpful. They were just incredible. They got us some Imodium, which helps stop the evacuation of 
yep. everything. Um, they will offer up anything else. They will kind of give you a quick once over. They will tell you what signs to look out for in terms of needing to go to a doctor. The biggest worry is the dehydration, severe dehydration. Uh, as long as you can stay on top of that, you will be fine. Rest, take a couple of days off adventuring and going shopping and beach clubs and just chill. You will be fine. You will be uncomfortable for sort of five-ish days. However, go to a doctor if at any point you think that you are not in control of the symptoms. If you're too dehydrated or your fever won't come down, things like that. Always, if you think you need to see a doctor, see a doctor. In conclusion, guys, I just want to wrap up. If you get it, don't worry. It's not as bad as I actually thought it was. I had heard about it for years and I had never experienced it and I thought I was going to be written off for a couple of weeks. Mm. Uh, but after two days, I started coming right. Those two days were not nice though. As Sam was saying before, I would say after three days, if you're still very ill, go see a doctor. There are ways to, to help this. The two most common ways you will get barley belly is from bacteria on or in the food and contaminated water. In Bali, you don't drink the water, but that's drummed into you from the start. But don't drink the water here. Like there seems to be this kind of preconceived idea that Bali belly is like the be all and end all of sickness in Bali. But I've had food poisoning in New Zealand that was way worse than this. Mm. It's not don't get me wrong, there's probably cases that do get bad and do end up in hospital. But for the most part, it's just a stomach bug. It's nowhere near as bad as we thought it was going to be, right? Not at all. Like, not even close. If anything, it's a good excuse to spend a few days in bed watching some TV shows and ordering in food rather than going out. You, you'll come right. You'll be fine. But that's going to conclude this video we had another epic video lined up for this week's one but obviously we got sick and we're down for the count and didn't really go anywhere but we kind of seized the opportunity turned us getting barley belly into something that we could utilize and people could learn from we figured we would make a video about it so that you know what it is what the symptoms are to look out for things that you can do from home to help it and kind of when to see a doctor if you need to. That concludes this week's video. Sorry it was a bit random and not similar to what we've been posting, but I hope you learned something. As always guys, please subscribe, like this video if you like it or find it informative, and if you have any questions for us, put it in the comment section down below. I take great pride in answering those questions for you. Check out our next video next Friday. It is going to be a fun one, I promise you. We've got some cool stuff planned. We promise. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace. Peace. And uh, shooting a girlfriend with. Don't. Don't. Nice wooden sand.